Today we're going to take a look at making Alka-Seltzer lava lamps and see how large of one we can make. Several people have recently sent us videos of people making what look like lava lamps, kind of, but yeah. there's no wax, there's no heat source, there's not actually any light involved, but you still get the same up and down of colors flowing and bubbling and it looks pretty cool. And it also looks very simple. The ingredients are water, cooking oil, food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Seems simple enough, we thought we would give it a shot. But we also want to scale it up larger because that's what we do. Here's the basic idea. Several people have recently sent us videos of making a sort of lava lamp using water, oil, food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. It looked like a lot of fun, so we're gonna try it out and then we're gonna try and scale it up. Got a few different ideas. First, we wanna try it in the small scale. Just see if the we way can, other people can Yeah, really get a hang of it. It's about the ratio of food coloring and water and how much Alka-Seltzer you need and just see how it all works out. Figure it out. This right here is Alka-Seltzer. It's a brand name. I'm sure there's knockoff versions of similar things. And it's designed to help with a few different ailments. It says it's good for relief of heartburn, upset stomach, acid indigestion, headache, and body ache. If you look at the active ingredients, it has citric acid. It says anhydrous citric acid. It has aspirin, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda. And those are what it says are the main active ingredients. Sodium bicarbonate, I suppose, would help could help with heartburn and upset stomach and acid indigestion. Neutralizes if your acid's doing too much. And then it does have aspirin in it, which can be a painkiller. But the, the most entertaining aspect of Alka-Seltzer is that with the sodium bicarbonate and the citric acid, when they hit water, it foams and bubbles a lot. We need some water in a cup, yes. Okay. All right, I've got some water. I have a cup. That looks probably pretty good. Okie dokie. Now we add oil. Oil is less dense than water. So I'll pour it in and you see that it can like flow down into the water, but it then floats back up to the top. All right, now we add a few drops of food coloring. Now the food coloring is water-based and so it should sink down through the oil, but I think it then has kind of a oil coating around it and it doesn't do a good job of mixing into the water. You can see that it's just kind of sitting there. Little red bubbles. I think that's enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Yeah. All right, they're just kind of chilling. And an Alka-Seltzer tablet. Oh, it pulled a lot of red down with it as it mm -hmm. plopped in. Oh, but it's working. And we're, we're getting the bubbling volcano effect. I think we need less water I, and more I think we oil. need less Alka-Seltzer too. Yeah, we're gonna have to break that up. It's all filling like up so much in one spot. Very it does cool, look like a lot of oil, but I think you're right. I think the most important is less water and more oil, so it has more space mm -hmm. to travel through. It looks good. Mm -hmm. Lava lampy. But given the fact that lava lamps are proprietary blends and nobody knows how to make them, pretty cool. All right, ready? Fizz, 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 fizz. Bubbling, bubbling up through the oil. Oh, grabbing there the color. There we go. And look yeah. at that, it sinks right back Traveling down. Up, sinking back down, that's that's kind of more what I was thinking we were looking for. Yeah, we'll get the, and this is kind of fun how it's just like one stream in the middle mm -hmm. going up. Yeah. And we, so she just dropped in about a quarter of a tablet. Tiny, tiny piece. It didn't keep going for very long, but we can keep adding more in. It's fun. It comes up and like builds a bubble at the top and then eventually that bubble gets too heavy. It just drops right down. I like it. That is pretty neat. A little bit of water, mm -hmm. good amount of oil, and not that much food coloring. It doesn't take a whole lot. I want to try and mix colors. I have zero hopes for it actually working without the colors getting muddied and gross. Oh, like have some mm -hmm. of one color, some of another color? Let's All right. try it. Okay, so we've got like a magenta and a green going on. Now let's add our Alka-Seltzer and see what kind of result this gives us. It landed over on the magenta side. Yep, sure did. Okay, nothing so far. Okay, one of the, a full drop. Got okay, there it goes. there's so green. It has to, has to kind of break into the water. So now uh -huh. we're just getting green streaming through. None of the magenta has really broken in. There, there it goes. We go. Okay, and now it's, well, actually. We have, we have the two color in the bottom. Now uh -huh. it's starting to get muddy. There so we the green go. But for first. a second, we had the magenta and the and green. And we still do floating around in there. There's still green bubbles yeah. dropping down. But yeah, now we're getting the mix, the brown 
uh -huh. going up. But it worked for half a second, so I am thrilled. I liked it. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep playing with the blue over here because it now makes such big bubbles. we have the more bubbles. oil. And of course, we're just getting the brown color, but mm -hmm. now we have, yeah, with a whole tablet. Wow. That is very energetic. I think it's like most of the water is actually, look at that, the oil is coming all the way to the bottom because mm -hmm. most of the water is in bubbles traveling up yeah. through the oil right now. The Alka-Seltzer doesn't really know what to do anymore. Well, that's working pretty good. Yep. I want to try milk because it's opaque. I don't know if the density difference between milk and oil is enough to make this effect work, so. We're gonna find that's out. That's a whole separate experiment. It's gonna be cloudy, but it's gonna separate. I think it's bubbling the same way the water did. It just has to settle down. Whole half tablet. Here goes. It's the milk. Does our seltzer react with milk? A it's slower, but it does. Bit. So we do have these little like oh. milk balloons raising up now. They look like pimples. It has yet to combine with any color. So we've just got white lava. No green lava yet. Still neat. Still neat. There we go. All right, now we're going to start getting green bubbles. Green and white. I love it. That's so cool. Milk has a lot of bubble surface tension. Like it forms bubbles great as every child who's ever blown bubbles into milk through a straw has discovered. And so we just have foam at the top of the milk. So it did work a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think water's probably just stick to water. All right. Okay. We're going to do orange and yellow and red and they're going to mix, but that's okay. That's the point. It's going to be more orange really. Oh, that's fun. They actually made it all the way down into the water. Well, I gotta say, that does kind of look like lava. I'm kind of in love with it. Like a lot. Like a lot in love with it. I will also say, though, because the light is shining from the bottom through the orange liquid, it just all looks orange. You don't see the color of bubbles traveling through it. Oh my gosh, it's so cool! There you go, that's a good shot. Oh, it's so cool. Neat. So this kind of reminds me of Terminator 2. Spoilers, at the end of it, a Terminator falls into a pot of liquid metal, a foundry crucible mm -hmm. of liquid metal. And if you watch that, I'm pretty sure that's just like corn syrup with orange lights on it. Okay. It's, it's like some slightly thick liquid. They're just shining orange light into it. And it actually looks quite a like bit that. like that. Okay, yeah, I can totally it's see it. It's more homogenous. This obviously has the individual bubbles. Um, oh, look at this. See tablets just suspended. Yeah. And then sinking They're like down. sinking very slowly, but bubbles are pushing them up at the same time. Mm -hmm. Can we scale it up now? Yeah, I think we should go full yes. scaled up. We've poured oil into the tank with the water, but we want to let some of the bubbles settle so we can see through it just a bit better. And while we're doing that, I had another quick test I wanted to try. We've got a cup with some water dyed blue and some oil on top of it. And I want to see what this does in a vacuum. If we get the pressure low enough to the point where water would be boiling, will it bubble up through the oil? Will the oil stop that from happening? Will the oil itself bubble? I just don't know. So it's pulling all of the little bubbles out of the oil. This is actually what gave me the idea, is I thought, oh, I wish I could vacuum the whole tank to just pull those bubbles out. I can't, I don't have a seal that I can put onto it, but apparently it would work. It's pulling a lot of bubbles out. Oh, and now we're seeing some bubbles pull off of the surface and it's like tugging on the water just a little bit. There is a, whoa, it suddenly, <laughs> yes, it boils. <laughs> It boils very, very excitedly. Oh boy. Well, that hit a point, and I think it just gets held down by the oil until it doesn't want to get held down anymore. Okay, well, that was cool. That was really fun to see. I had no idea what the result was going to be, and I was surprised when it hit, so that's my favorite kind of experiment. We've got our big tank, and we are going to do three colors. We're going to try and do green, blue, and purple. And of course, they will eventually mix, but hopefully we'll get some zoned bubbling before that. Uh, and then we're just going to add about three tablets per zone. They'll move around, and it's not perfect, but I'm hoping this is going to work out well. Okay. Three, two, Ready? one. Yep.
Oh my gosh. That is the coolest. starting to mix, but it still looks so good. Good choice on the colors, Nate. Look at how cool the water looks. Ha, that one just like it Stayed so flat. So that is what you get in a box of Alka-Seltzer once the wrapping's out. Go for it. Yes, good, yes, this is good. The light <laughs> can't get through. It does look really cool though. Isn't it? It, it still neat, looks neat. good. Guys, if you wanna make your own lava lamp at home, this is a very easy way to do it. You can use any type of oil, a little bit of water, a little bit of food coloring, and an Alka-Seltzer tablet. It is a lot of fun. Maybe don't put it in your fish tank if you have fishes. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. That's it for today, but we've always got more stuff coming out. Hit that button right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.